Hello, I am Eli J. Brown, Slash Sonic Jr. and Sarah, and this is a Legends of Chima, uh, thing. Uh, this apparently was with my, uh, my Lego order that I made with, uh, Evo and Oglegon and two, uh, mystery minifigures, which you've seen in my previous video. And th this is a, uh, I guess this was something that came in, uh, Lego order if I, uh, purchased at a certain, uh, amount of money. And this is what I got. Uh, so, I haven't gotten any of the, uh, Ultra Build, uh, Legends of Chima sets yet. Probably won't until, uh, like maybe, uh, late, uh, August or September or something. Um, but let, let's open this this package up and look uh, inside. Like, uh, how do you? I I think that you're the. Oh yeah. This, this is it. Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh. I I see. Okay, so I think this is supposed to be some sort of little game uh, with the Legends of Chima uh, figures. Uh, I think these are the instructions on uh, how to put them together. Like, like it's all that. Why don't we take a look at the uh, parts here? It's been a it's been a little while uh, since I uh, built a uh, a system. Uh, set, well, I guess the, uh, collectible minifigures that I got kind of count, and same with that, uh, little bag Chima set that I got for free when I did my purchase on the, uh, 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 Brain Attack Wave 1 sets back in January. Okay, so, these are all the little parts right here, um... Most of them are basically system such. Uh, I'm gonna first put the uh, characters uh, together here. Uh, just to show what they look like. Uh, that's kind of interesting. He's got two faces. Like, you could just put that right there. Yeah, um, I don't know what this character is supposed to be named. If you know who, uh, he is, well, good for you. Uh, I think this is supposed to be some sort of wolf character. Uh, I'm, I'm not really sure. Uh, and then there's this other character who is, uh, supposedly a, uh, a, a lion. Uh, where, where's his, uh... Where's his headpiece? Somewhere. It has to be there somewhere. I mean, surely it wouldn't disappear. Oh, wait, it's right here. Okay. This is a lion character. Uh, I'm not sure if this is either Laval or another uh, character. I really don't know. If, if you know, great. If, um, yeah. 
So, what what are the weapons that we supposed to Oh, okay, so we just get one of these and, oh, oh, and one of these here too. And and I think that these are supposed to be uh, something uh, for uh, kind of things for him to fight with. Uh, these two to fight with. Uh, and and the build here with the rest of the things is probably going to take me a while, so uh, I'm going to pretty much uh, turn off the camera here and then start doing it and then turn it back on once I've done it. I mean, I know that I've done speed builds with my Hero Factory reviews, but I think I better uh, let this one just uh, turn off the camera and then turn it back on once I finish with the building. So, here we go. Alright, and um, if you haven't posted any comments stating who these uh, characters are, well, I think I figured it out. The lion is called Longtooth, and the wolf is called Wags. Interesting name. Right. Okay, so, I think that the whole point of this set is actually to play a whole bunch of games. Like, first, I think you're supposed to, like, maybe play, uh, spin the, uh, top right here, or something. And then, and then I'm guessing you would have to, uh, like, uh, you just put this, uh, thing into there and the wheel starts moving uh, although it would not it would not work on a uh, green carpet like this so I'm gonna actually take this uh, up to uh, upstairs to see if I can show you this a little bit better okay well here we are on my uh, dining room table. Uh, just gotta make sure there's a... Okay. Here we are on my dining room table that's nice and flat. No rugs to worry about. And, well, I think that the whole point of this set is that there you're supposed to do a number of things uh, with uh, this. Uh, well, one of the things I think starts off with you, uh, uh, you know what, I think I better do this on the floor. Yes, we're on a field trip today. Okay, so I think that, uh, what you need to do with this, uh, first game here is, is spin the top. And I'm guessing you, uh, then put that in there, and, uh, And then that happens. It just buzzes off. I'm gonna try it with uh, this one. Uh, wax, I, I guess. That's what you call him. And you just pull on this, let it go, and there it goes. <laughs> that, that's what, what happens. It looks like this next one is basically you're supposed to uh, make this go and hit as many of those as uh, possible. I don't know if the reds and the blues each uh, stand for a point, like maybe each one stands for one point. Whichever amount you uh, hit first is... Which, whoever hits the most ones will win. Alright, so here we go. Well, I got uh, three of them down. Uh, with that one try, uh, with long tooth. Now, let's see if Wax uh, has better luck. Uh. Nope, he doesn't have better luck. He only got one. So I guess that's how it goes. I think with this next one, there's this uh, hole right here with the uh, Xamar Sphere under it. Yep. Yeah. Uh, my uncle and Hero Factory aren't the only sets to get these pieces. Uh, so you you just put the Xamarin Sphere under there, and then you just 
take uh, one of these guys. Um, I'm guessing that you would uh, pull them out at the same time, but there's only one, so I can't move them both at the same time. Uh, so, I'm guessing that these things are supposed to be ramps. Well, that worked. Kind of. Knocked the building over. And, uh, the last one is basically a bunch of, uh... It's supposed to be some sort of card game. Uh, such. Well, that pretty much does it with this, uh, Legends of Chima, uh, play, game, whatever. Uh, using these minifigures right here. Maybe sometime I'll, uh, actually play the- play one of these games with, uh, with my sister. Uh, but that's it for now. Uh, I hope you like this video, and I hope to see you in the next. Talk to you later.